morning to all. Today we are going to discuss about the biofuel as a renewable source. What are the advantages of the biofuel as a renewable source? Today we are going to discuss it. So biodiesel, as we have already discussed in our previous lecture, that biodiesel is a uh, diesel that is produced from the uh, plant material, and it is uh, with it with the help of trans esterification reaction. So this is the simple uh, we can uh, summarize from the earlier study that the biodiesel biodiesel production uh, can be done and with the uh, with uh, the with different oils can be produced. What uh, materials that are required are water, methanol, fresh oil, any catalyst, and a catalyst is required for the biodiesel production. And the biodiesel that is produced. After the reaction, trans-esterification reaction, biodiesel is produced, methanol is recovered, catalyst is recovered, and glycerol is the byproduct that is uh, produced along with the biodiesel. <coughs> then, now the fuel, uh, biofuel is a fuel that is extracted from the plant and the plant crops. This is called as biofuel. Biofuel is bioethanol or biodiesel. Both are the biofuel that can be obtained with the help of crop plants. It is considered, it is blended with the gasoline and it can be used as an alternative source of fuel in our car. As we have already discussed, uh, they can be, uh, we can blend it, they can be used with the, uh, they can be blended with the normal diesel or the normal fuel um, and it can be used in the uh, engines. Now that these are the plant based uh, fuel and these are renewable sources. So these are, they, they cause the less emissions as compared with the fossil fuel. So the plants that are utilized for the biodiesel biofuel production are jetrofa, wheat, corn, soybean, sugarcane and manure. Now let us talk about the advantage. So first advantage is the efficiency. The biodiesel is, biofuel is equally efficient uh, than the normal diesel fuel. It's, it is less flammable and it has good lubricating properties. And the, another is the they cause the less emission as compared to the uh, normal diesel or the fossil fuel direct diesel. This is the graph which shows that uh, uh, when the corn is used, corn grain is used for the ethanol production and biodiesel production, then what are the energy input and output. What are the energy, how much input of energy is required for producing the energy, the, uh, for extracting the biofuel from the plant, plant material. So it is a comparative account and uh, it shows the different uh, material then, uh, along with the diesel, what are the different uh, byproduct that is obtained, which is demarcated with the different color. Another Another advantage is the cost benefit. Though there is no such, uh, there is a no such huge difference between the uh, benefit when we compare the biodiesel fuel with the gasoline. So the cost is same, but the overall cost and benefit is much higher. So, uh, why it is higher? Because we get the cleaner fuel, which is not going to cause the emission in our in, in our environment. And it is expected that in near future, when the demand of the biofuel fuel is increasing, it will increase, then the biodiesel will become a cheaper, cheaper in near future. Then the durability of the vehicle, the vehicle which are using the biofuel, they become adapted, they, are, they, are, they become durable, they become adapted to the engine and they perform very well in the in most of the conditions it has been seen that uh, they are performing good. So they because they have a good CT number, they have a good lubricating properties and it is used as a combustible fuel. So the durability of the diesel in, uh, engine is increased. So there is no need to convert the engine for using the biodiesel we don't require any special type of engine. Now the engine life is also longer and it requires less maintenance when we are using the biodiesel. Now there is, it keeps our engine run for a long time and it also checks the pollution 
and as it does not emit the harmful gases in the environment. Another advantage is it is renewable. So the renewable, the fossil fuels will expire. It will uh, end one day. But the, these are the renewables. These are obtained from the plant. So the plant, um, when uh, they are not going to end in, on the earth, in the nature. So these crops can be replanted again and again to derive biodiesel or biofuel from them. So this is a simple picture which is showing them how the plant is growing with the help of utilizing the solar energy and this oil crops when they are extracted, oil is extracted from the different oil crops and it is used for the biodiesel production so the biodiesel can be used for different transportation and in the industry this transport is working for the industry and again the biofuel is retained in the heavy transport, in the airplanes, etc. <coughs> now, when we talk about the in, in economic security of the country, so it has a less environmental impact, so the soil quality is not deteriorating, biodiversity is not harmed because of the greenhouse gas emission, so it has a good impact on the social environment also, as it is not going to cause any, any type of destruction, then biofuel production is also going to have a good impact on the economic security. That is the fuel security, the cost of food, uh, it will not affect the cost of food, it will, not, it will increase the farmer's income, it will increase the job opportunities for the person in the country. Now this is the biodiesel can be uh, obtained from the oils from the animal fat and from the other sources. The oils are the edible oil or the non-edible oils. Oil. Edible oils are soybean, coconut, canola, shortgum, wheat, rice. These are the edible oils. Non-edible oil, almond oil, chetrop oil, jojoba oil, palm oil, rubber oil, castor oil, etc. Animal fats, the leftover of the slaughterhouse that is beef, poultry, fish, oil, fish oil, lard, etc. From this animal fat, the biodiesel can be produced. Some algae, bacteria, fungus, algae, microalgae, or the cooking oil waste can be used for the biodiesel production. So when we uh, we can categorize them as edible oil can be categorized as the first generation biofuel, non-edible and animal fat can be categorized as second generation fuel and the, uh, the last category is the third generation fuel. <clears throat> Next important application is the low level of pollution. So as we have already discussed, it will not or it will cause less pollution on the planet. So the use of the bio biodiesel biofuel can be should be encouraged. The stand, uh, the, they are not going to cause such emission as compared to the standard diesel. So it will not contaminate our soil, it will not contaminate the underground water because of the, uh, during the transportation, storage or use, they, they, they can be, uh, they have a self-sustainable system. So at last we can conclude that biodiesel, biodiesel is domestically produced, clean fuel, renewable uh, substitute for petroleum diesel, Using biodiesel as a vehicle fuel increases energy security, it improves air quality and the environment and provides safety benefits. Thank you. You can go, uh, use this reference for the further study.